So next, we will be introducing the different category of forces. The first one, frictional force. Frictional force is a force that slows down or stops movement of a body. For example, while we are rubbing our hands, we are causing friction force on our palms, okay? Or when we are stepping the brakes of a car, we are applying frictional forces on the wheels so that the, so that the, motion, the motion can be slowed down. So that's frictional force. Then next part, the disadvantages of friction. Okay, it can cause materials to wear and tear, for example, your shoes. When you walk every day or when you run every day, the shoe sole will have frictional force with the ground so that you can see wear and tear. Second one, it slows down the movement of an object. For example, if you're driving a car due to the frictional force, that it will cause you more energy, it will cause you more petrol. And lastly, it produces a lot of heat. For example, just now the example, when you're rubbing your palms, when you're rubbing your hands, you can feel the temperature going up, you can feel the heat. Ah, that's, produce, produce, that's the production of heat. And this one, for example, you can, ima you can imagine in a turbine or a rotor generator, when the rotor rotates, it will have friction force with the container. It will generate heat. And then if we are not cooling down fast enough, something will happen. It will damage the rotor, will damage the turbine. So after learning the disadvantages of the friction, obviously we want to know how to reduce friction. Okay, firstly, we can use uh, lubricant, lub lubrication like oil, grease, and all that. Okay, we can use ball bearings instead of rubbing. We use balls to rotate, and yes, we can use rollers wheels instead of rubbing on the ground. We can rotate on the ground. It can really use friction. Okay, then. Obviously, there are disadvantages for friction. They are users of friction as well. Advantage of friction. While I'm, grip, while I'm gripping the pen, I need frictional force to hold the pen. Or if I, my hand is very oily, or my hand doesn't have much friction force, the pen will drop. It will slip through. So that's one of the advantage of uh, friction force, which can help you to hold and grip object. And second one, it prevents falling. For example, if we have a parachute, the frictional force of the air to the parachute, it stops the man from falling down. So prevent falling and it can slow down or stop object motion, motion, for example, while you're driving a car, definitely you need a brake. 